after scripting history with Chandrayaan 3's soft landing near the South Pole on the Moon, India now has its eyes set on the Sun. Now, the Aditya L1 mission is set to take off a few hours from now and the launch is scheduled at 11.50 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sriharikota. Now, all internal checks and launch rehearsals have been completed and the mission will take off on the PSLV C-57 rocket along with seven payloads to unlock the mysteries of the sun. Now, the primary payload on board Aditya L1 is the Visible Emission Line Chronograph or the VELC and this holds the capacity to send close to 1,440 images of the sun every single day to ISRO scientists. Now, the mission aims to study the solar chromosphere, which is the atmosphere of the sun, map the magnetic fields and decode the intricate interplay between solar radiation and Earth's climate. Now, Aditya L1 will also be put in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point L1. Uh, of the Sun-Earth system. Now, this is exactly where the mission also gets its name L1 from. Now, the L1 position is about 1.5 kilometers from the Earth, which is roughly four times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Now, to cover this massive distance, Aditya L1 will take about four months and with the world lauding and celebrating ISRO's last space outing, all eyes are now on Aditya L1 to reach new heights. And that too, quite literally. This is our first mission which we are sending near the sun. L1 point, jo hai, it is about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. And this point, what happens is that whatever uh, spacecraft we launch, karte hai, it will be always seeing the sun. Uska, sun ka view will never cut. There will be no eclipsing, there will be no occultation. So, you will be always seeing the sun. particular uh, mission, there will be several payloads, which is going, about seven payloads are going. This may say, char jo hai, four of them are, four payloads will be uh, directly viewing the sun from the point, and the other three payloads are going to collect data from the point, L1 point mein reh karke, wo data collect karne wale. My colleague Dharani joins us live from Shri Harikota, exactly the point where the rocket will take off in a few hours from now. Shri, uh, Dharani, what exactly is the mood like in Shri Harikota? What are the preparations like underway? And tell us about how the day will look like. Just a few hours left for the launch. So how excited are you and how excited are the people around you? Uh, definitely after the success of uh, Chandrayaan uh, 3, this is uh, uh, one big mission that all of India is looking forward to and uh, the launch will uh, take place exactly by 11.50 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Shrigari Kota, the second uh, launch pad uh, from the Satish Dhawan Space Center and you know uh, since 6 a.m. in the morning I am seeing a lot of students especially you know uh, from uh, schools arriving at the uh, you know uh, Shrigari Kota here uh, to witness this launch in person and we are given to understand that within one hour of you know uh, the tickets uh, you know, ticket opening uh, all of the tickets tickets were sold out you know the public they have booked all of the tickets here to uh, to witness this uh, mission in person and talking about uh, the, mis uh, the mission this is india's first uh, solar mission this will be india's first ever solar mission in history uh, to study the outer atmosphere of the sun and for any country to uh, you know leap forward in their uh, you know space research it is important for them to have their own research material uh, they cannot depend on other countries research materials for their you know academic and other you know research purposes so uh, this uh, mission through aditya l1 india's uh, you know, aiming to uh, come up with our own, you know, uh, data and, you know, uh, research materials for the study of the sun. And, you know, before ISRO, only the European Space Agency and NASA, they have attempted, uh, you know, to study the sun. And India will be the third country after uh, both the European Space Agency and uh, NASA to uh, to come up with the solar mission. And as far as Aditya L1 is concerned, you know, uh, the, as I told, the launch will take place around 11.50, uh, you know, a.m. And after that, uh, uh, the PSLV uh, uh, 57 rocket, that will uh, place Aditya L1 in a, in a highly eccentric, you know, earthbound, uh, you know, orbit, and uh, after that, you know, subsequently five uh, orbital maneuvering uh, will take place, and you know, this will increase the velocity of Aditya L1, and ultimately, uh, a trans uh, L1 insertion maneuver will take place, and this is when uh, Aditya L1 will, will start traveling from, you know, the Earth's gravitational uh, field uh, towards uh, the L1 point. Uh, the L1 point is basically, uh, you know, a location in space uh, where uh, the uh, gravitational uh, forces of uh, both the Earth and the Sun 
sun will be in an equilibrium. Uh, so uh, L1 point is a point where uh, the gravitational force of you know, two celestial bo bodies, in this case the sun and the earth, they will be in an equilibrium and it will be easy for any space uh, you know, research organization to place you know, a spacecraft in the L1 point and study uh, the space. That is why they have chosen this particular point and uh, you know, uh, uh, from, Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, from the earth it will approximately take yes. uh, four months for uh, uh, Aditya L1 to reach the L1 point and after that it will conduct all the uh, you know, a quantitative and qualitative study about the outer at atmosphere of the sun Absolutely. and uh, uh, we will be getting our yeah. own you know, uh, data about uh, the sun's outer atmosphere. Yes, absolutely, Dharni. Thanks a lot for all of that information. Uh, I, I see uh, the excitement very clearly there and we'll be coming back to you for more on this particular mission. Um